Mr. Bowtie's Texas High School Sports Machine is driven by Henry Finley and McCombs Ford West, a proud supporter of all area local sports. McCombs Ford West, simply the best. And by San Antonio Masonry and Steel. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage not found on TV or in a cheap web stream. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and you're gonna make my dogs think I'm the best person in the world. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Second round of the 2A Division I playoffs, Refurio taking on Holland in San Antonio. Refurio comes in with a record of 10 and one on the season. Their one loss, not to Shiner. They beat the Comanches in the regular season and could see them again later on in the playoffs. But to Hitchcock, Hitchcock out of the Houston area that played in the 3A basketball state semifinals back in March. Refurio, you know they can pile up the points and their defense is always stout. As for Holland, the Hornets just six and five on the season. They did get into the playoffs, finishing third in District 13. They're a team that alternates between Region 3 and Region 4. Third playoff meeting all time between the two schools. Refiro has won them both and gone to the state final both times. Would history repeat itself? Well, at least part of it. Let's check out all the action presented by McCombs Ford West and San Antonio Masonry and Steel. What are you doing? Somebody breaks into your house and takes what's yours. That's what they're trying to do. You better freaking get after it. Because this is breaking your picture game. Position! Okay. Okay. Right. Ah! Hey, pretty boys right there! Big boys right there! Win on one! One! Where? There is Refurio head coach Jason Herring who picked up career win number 200 earlier this year. Congrats to him. 17 straight 10 win seasons for the Bobcats. There is Isaiah Avery number 10 talking to backup quarterback Caleb Hesselty. Avery did a few productive things this Thursday night which was way more than Aaron Rodgers did. Third goal ball. Got it? Third goal ball. Here we go. Bobcats on three. One, two, three, Bobcats. They want to play us? We want to play them also. Let's go. Are y'all ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's send the ass home kind of one. Hey. Go, 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 go. Quarterback and the quarterback didn't uh, he didn't hand it off so I uh, followed the back out of the backfield and uh, hopped on it. I seen the safety shifted over to the other side and I just took advantage of it and ran down the middle. Following my teammates and our coach, uh, planning out the uh, punt return. Trusting my instincts and my uh, teammates. Defensive coordinator, uh, Coach B, Box uh, uh, helped us with the game plan all week, defensively watching film.
saw they was playing on the outside, their defensive ends playing outside. So we have to adjust a little bit to how their defense was playing. And every week we play like it's a Timson or a Shiner. We stay mentally focused and physically focused. Yes, sir. Avery had an interception, then caught a touchdown pass on the next play. He had a touchdown catch after Braylon Gonzalez recovered a fumble, and he returned a fumble himself for a touchdown. Keelan Brown threw for 332 and three touchdowns and ran for one. Isaiah Bland didn't have much rushing yards, but he did return a punt for a touchdown. The defense held the Hornets to just 54 yards of offense in the first half. Keeping up with all the action tired out Holland and the referral Bobcat. 56-9 the final. Our speed is a big key and not letting people get to the uh, the places where they want to get to. You know? Just the only way they can go is outside. Isaiah, he's an extremely great athlete. Ever since he was a um, knee high, he was a great athlete. Um, I trust him with my life and he played great tonight. Starts in the summer when we start working out and we start trying to get stronger and uh, mentally stronger. And uh, the coaches prepare us really well. For the third straight year, Refiro will rematch with district mate Ganado in round three. They beat the Indians by 26 in week 11 and have won the last two playoff matchups 108 to nine. Win that and it would be Mason or Shiner after that. As mentioned previously, the two times they beat Holland in the playoffs, Refiro reached the state final. Reporting from San Antonio, I am Mr. Bowtie.